order to understand the concepts uh, associated with systems theory and systems thinking, it's well worth having a look at the work of Russell Ackoff. Ackoff was one of the pioneers of systems theory and le had a very distinguished career. You can see he was born in uh, 1919 and um, had numerous awards and honorary doctorates uh, awarded to him and was the author of 22 books and 250 articles. So to understand Akoff, uh, we must learn about thinking flaws, problem solving and analysis of purposeful systems. Akoff wrote Purposeful Systems in 1972 and in it he observed a system is more than the sum of its parts. It is an indivisible whole. It loses its essential properties when it is taken apart. The elements of a system may themselves be systems and every system may be part of a larger system. So Akoff was interested uh, originally in operational research and as such he said a purposeful system is formed by linking work, people and things and examining their social, cultural and psychological implications. In a purposeful system, participants are dedicated individuals who intentionally and collectively formulate objectives that are part of the greater purpose in a larger system that seeks to achieve a specific ideal or objective. So that's what's meant by a purposeful system, is that the system has some kind of ideal or objective. So Akoff then later on rejected operations research because he had a problem with the analytical way of solving problems. Um, he didn't find that it worked really well when you tried to address complex problems by dividing a system into its parts and evaluating each one separately. In theory, when all individual parts behave well, the total system will behave well. In reality, however, it was found that that didn't really work. Um, one of famous statements is that the only problems that have simple solutions are simple problems. So what this means is that it isn't possible to improve the performance of each part of a system separately because doing so destroys the integration of a system as a whole. Okay. Uh, and this means that when you have a system and that system has a weakest part, that weakest part will ultimately destroy the whole system. Another issue that Akoff had um, was that of flawed thinking and he's got a number of famous uh, statements which he categorized as the F laws and this applied really to management and the way management dealt with issues. Um, for example he has stated that managers who don't, don't know how to measure what they want settle for wanting what they can measure. And also, a bureaucrat is one who has the power to say no, but none to say yes. So generally, in um, his research, Akoff labeled uh, these kind of flawed thinking F laws um, and stated that they created problems over time. These problems Akoff labeled as messes. Okay, um, and a mess results when you focus exclusively in an organization on growth, in other words, in the volume of productivity in your organization or the revenue over the development of people and processes. So how did Akoff look at solving this problem? Akoff basically said that problems that arrive in organization almost always the products of interactions of parts of a system, never the action of a single part. So complex problems do not have simple solutions. These problems would arise from a disconnect in systems. So to manage a system effectively, you must focus on the interactions of the parts rather than their behavior taken separately. 
And this is really what defines system thinking. It's a holistic approach to thinking rather than analytical reductionism. So problem solving requires that a system must not only solve problems by developing corrective actions, but also must maintain control over solutions and prevent new problems from occurring. These elements interact with one another. If the interactions are well designed and organized, problem solving will be effective. If problems are not dissolved, in other words, if you do not solve problems effectively and permanently, then in the very act of solving the problem, we will create a mess. In other words, the problems that we have today are often uh, associated with incorrect thinking and incorrect problem solving, which just creates further problems down the road. Um, in general, Akoff believed that to gain profound knowledge of systems, we need to blend analytical and systematic perspectives so we can discover the invisible connections between things that don't have obvious connections. If our society is going to move beyond the mess we have today, we must integrate analytical thinking with systems thinking.